Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY Investing. I wanted to give you guys an update on XRP because it has recently been pumping super hard and is now at 58 cents. This is something that I've been watching for for a little while, expecting to see whether we were gonna bounce off support or whether we were gonna end up falling lower. Today I have some new charts to share with you guys on the long-term prospect of XRP, why I think that this thing is going to be heading to a dollar next, and some levels that we need to be watching for when that happens. If you're new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to this channel for more updates. Always remember to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos like the one provided for you here. And make sure you guys sign up and join the Discord server of over 20,000 members and growing. Links are gonna be provided for you in the description of this video to go and sign up. And I also have a free ebook linked in the description as well. This is gonna be for new guys getting into the markets that wanna understand my trading plan, some basic technical skills, and some of the most profitable skills that I use inside of my trading. So links are gonna be provided for you in the description for that. And with all that being said, guys, let's jump right into this amazing video today. Alrighty guys, so today we are going to be talking about XRP. This is one of my favorite long-term holds. You guys know that I've been talking about this for a long time. And a lot of people have sat there and talked the most crap on XRP possible. As XRP holders, we know this more than any other community out there. Because here's the thing about XRP. Even though we get so much hate for holding this and investing into this... There is still not nearly as good of a community as the XRP community out there. I've seen the Link Marines. I've seen the Bitcoin Maximalist. I've seen all of the other groups. And here's the thing. None of those are even big in comparison compared to XRP. But specifically, XRP community is one of the few that isn't completely toxic. Now, obviously, there's going to be their weirdos. I definitely can see that there's a lot of weirdos inside of XRP community, as there is with any community. But I will say that the biggest conglomerate of you are amazing people. And I like the support. And most importantly, and they like the positivity that you guys give. I think that that's really cool about the XRP community. And so even though, you know, I liked XRP because of what it is from a fundamental perspective and the amazing technicals that it has on a chart, it's really the community that's been my favorite part of actually talking about this. And so shout out to you guys because I know that a lot of you guys watch this channel. Now let's actually talk about XRP because as you guys can see, it's leading the market today. Um, you know, Bitcoin kind of looks like crap. Ethereum doesn't look uh, as bad as Bitcoin, but uh, you know, we're seeing XRP take off today. And that is obviously what we wanted to see. Now you guys already know, I've been doubling down with XRP. I've been accumulating as much as I possibly could when we went back down to these lows after the SEC lawsuit. Because here's the thing, guys, understand this, write it down right now. The SEC lawsuit was complete and total bull crap. And I have tried to say that from the beginning. I didn't worry about it. I never once worried about that when factoring in my buys or analyzing the price chart. And I think a lot of people were overestimating it because here's the thing. When they actually filed that lawsuit and when it happened, it shot the price back down to pretty much the same support level that we've been at forever. And so everybody sold support. Everybody panic sold, even though you could still hold all of your XRP on Coinbase. It's not like they were making you do anything. It was just a big cash grab to accumulate more because everybody understands the real fundamentals of XRP. They know it's going to be a big leader in value during this cycle, and we've always known that for a long time. That's why we've been investing into it. You know, banks are going to need an intermediary to actually send uh, transactions, and by using a crypto, we know how efficient that is. Have you guys ever used XRP? If you've ever used XRP, you know the value in it. You know, yes, there's other coins that are fast too, but... None of them have the network effect. And now that we have Flare coming and we have all of the DeFi that's going to be unlocking on XRP, I expect this thing to be huge and very, very profitable long term. And I do believe this is why we're seeing it hold strength. You know, it has been a little bit weaker compared to the rest of the market. And that's exactly why everybody gave up. But I always remember to share with people the old chart of XRP because this is the most important thing to understand in my opinion. Because XRP has known to do this. It's always kind of consolidated in these very low thresholds, whereas a lot of coins might pump. Dash, Monero, Ethereum, they were all going up well throughout this period of time. And XRP waited until spring, remember, spring of 2017. That was exactly four years ago. And so 
Now we're exactly four years ahead in the cycle, which you guys know I trade four-year cycle theory. 2021 was going to be the beginning of that bull run, and that's why we're starting to see that. This year is going to be explosive for the price of XRP, and I've labeled this for a long time for you guys. You know, even though it's lagged, we've all understood the XRP lagged in the last cycle. It's nothing unheard of. It's only unheard of if you haven't been around for the cycles. Now, let's actually jump into the short term, and let's talk about what we're seeing right now with this recent breakout. Now, this is really solid, guys. We want to see XRP continue to hold strength. Um, and this is kind of what I've laid out in the last uh, video that I had so over the last few weeks, some of the last videos that I've had, you know, when this actually started happening, I said, this is a good opportunity to buy the dip because this is very similar to what we saw in COVID for Bitcoin. We saw this massive sell off. These types of sell offs are never sustainable. You know, obviously XRP is not dead. And the thing about XRP, a lot of people were pinpointing that this was bearish because Coinbase delisted. They said, oh my gosh, if Coinbase isn't in on it, it's never going to pump. And I don't know why people hold Coinbase to this giant standard. Yes, it's a leader. But the thing about XRP is it pumped all the way up to $3.80 in the last cycle, and it never was listed on Coinbase to begin with. And so it's people overestimating the power of Coinbase and underestimating the power that over 90% of the volumes being done and traded in XRP are done overseas anyway. So it never mattered to begin with. Now, what we can see here forming is we really just held our support. Now, this is the recent support level that I pinpointed in my last video. And this has been our area of support and resistance for a long time. You know, I mentioned that at this point here, I was expecting us to break above. We did break above. We came back down. It was important that we held this support, which we did. And we've held this support all throughout this period of time. Now, I'll be honest, right over here, um, I watched for the potential that we could have sold off and made not quite that low, but sold off just a little bit back down in here and retest one more time. But this type of structure doesn't necessarily look bearish or looking like it's going to do that. I think at this point, we've broken, we've broken out of our descending resistance here. We can see that was what we were, that's what we were writing below here. We've broken from that. And now we are coming back up here to short term test this supply that we've had for a little while. And at that point, I would expect we would see some type of a pullback. And this could be the point where we rally up to here. This would be about 64 cents. We kind of sell off retest this trend line before continuing up. It would be great to see even more strength where we kind of rise back up. We could even retest some of the higher resistances, you know, somewhere right around here at 75 cents. This would be the most ideal situation, right? This is what I would like to see XRP do because at that point that would assert plenty of strength to understand what's coming, which, you know, I think was already inevitable, but a move up to 75 cents and then pull back back on top of 64, that would be ideal. That's going to be the most bullish situation here. Um, but really, I would just watch for either of these two scenarios. And the thing is, guys, you know, this is kind of our last resistance until we get some major moves to the upside, right? Once we can break out of these resistances, once we can flip these previous highs, you know, that's going to set us up for a much bigger move. Um, and I think it's going to come a lot quicker than people even realize. Let's actually draw some resistance levels on what we could expect here. To be honest, guys, we have resistances. Let's actually go to the weekly, see a little bit more definition here. So I'd say obvious resistance at about 87 to 90 cents. And then we have another pretty obvious resistance here at about a dollar and eight cents, even upwards of a dollar and 20. Because the thing is, we can nail these wicks. We could come up a little bit higher. Um, this is just weekly candle body support or resistance. And so that's kind of why I'm pinpointing that um, for my analysis. Now, what we can see here, guys, in my opinion, is pretty obvious accumulation that's been going on. Obviously, we went lower lows, lower highs all the way through here. But once we actually broke from this descending resistance, at that point, I knew we were bullish because this is our descending resistance that we've had for pretty much the entire bear market, right? And once we broke this, that's when I started buying even more. And I said, we're going to get a big move. Even though the lawsuit kind of dampered on our uh, expectations of continuation, we got an even better buying opportunity. And that was the point in which I threw a Bitcoin in at 23 cents because you guys already knew 23 cents is my average entry price throughout all of my accumulation for XRP. That's been the level that I've got in the average entry price throughout all of my accumulation over the last couple years. And now, you know, when we were back down at this level and we were back at 23 cents, I couldn't help myself but put more money into uh, XRP and I had an extra Bitcoin that I was planning on spending on alt, so I just put it into XRP. And obviously it's been a very good trade. And now that we're seeing strength in XRP with the rest of the market showing weakness, this is exactly what we wanted to see as long-term holders. We've broken from all descending resistances. 
you know, this was kind of the last shakeout, that last sell-off before we were good to go. And now we're starting to get that upward move. And I really would not be the least bit surprised to start to see some real um, impulses coming. And the thing is, guys, you know, these are my resistances, but we could see a much bigger move. You know, we could come all the way up here before seeing any type of sell-off um, and then just continue on going up. At this point in the cycle, guys, like I've said, cycle top the end of this year. So I do think we're going to see some quick impulsing markets and it's going to get insane. A lot of people don't think it's going to happen, but you know, we look at XRP in the last cycle and we saw that it was kind of just a ticking time bomb. You know, you can only suppress price for so long. Once Bitcoin breaks those all time highs, once the total altcoin market cap breaks those all time highs, it's literally as if you just had this giant, um, it's really as if you just had this this volcano, right? And it's just building pressure. It's building pressure. It's building. Finally, you start to see the smoke start to come out and you start knowing, hey, this thing looks primed. At this point, smoke is just billowing out of XRP. It could not be more obvious that a giant eruption is about to take place. And it's going to be something like this, guys. With the this coupled with all of the money that they've printed, we're gonna see some big increases in the values. Now, whether that's actually real legit price appreciation or whether it's just the result of money printing and whatnot, we're gonna wait and see. But regardless, expect to see some big moves coming with XRP from here. So anyways, guys, this is the video I had for you. I just wanted to lay out what I thought with XRP. Had spent a little while since I've talked about it. And this is still one of my favorite long-term holds. I haven't forgot about it by any means. I was just waiting for it to either hold support or go lower um, where I could make another video. And now that we're actually seeing it show strength in the rest of the market, that's super good. Great, and uh, That's great for what we were watching for. It's pretty much followed according to plan. We've held our levels that we needed to. And now it's looking like a dollar to even above a dollar is on the is on the table and that's what we're going to be watching for uh, from here. So I'm going to give you guys updates further on as we continue to break out and hit some of our other levels. Once we do that, I'll give you guys another update and then we can pull up some of the other charts like Bitcoin pairs, maybe XRP dominance, and just get a little bit more in the details with what I see long term. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. As we wrap up this video for the people that have waited this long, I just wanted to let you guys in on how to actually gain access to my private groups and my Discord server. In my Discord, I offer two different private groups. I offer the Signal. I offer the video course, which is going to be 20 educational videos that teach you guys technical analysis. All the drawing that I do on charts, I'm going to actually teach you guys how to do that in 20 videos. And so that's where you're going to be able to find that. Now, on the opposite end, I have the Signals. And the Signals are really going to be for the people that just want to know what I'm doing with my money. Follow all the trades that I'm follow all the trades that I'm taking, as well as get access to my long-term portfolio. Because I have two different portfolios in my Discord. I offer my long-term portfolio and I have my short-term portfolio, which if you guys join the signals, not only you're going to get lifetime access to this, but you're going to get access to both of those portfolios for you guys to kind of copy, take what you want, and then just basically help um, everybody develop the most sound portfolios with coins that are going to profit very well. That's what you're going to expect inside of my signals. And so if you guys want to get access to that, links are going to be provided for you in the description to sign up you guys can actually purchase them together or separate if you can only pick one i always recommend going with the signals first because that's the way for you guys to make profit and obviously everybody wants to make profit and so that's why i feel like it would be the most beneficial to go for first now with all that being said if you're somebody that doesn't want to sign up for any of my private groups i do have a free ebook that's also linked in the description as well i'm telling you guys that if you don't want to sign up for my groups this ebook is full of a lot of important information it's some of the most important information that helped me from going to be unprofitable to being fully profitable inside of these markets. They're basic concepts to understand, but these, in my opinion, are some of the most important concepts to understand when it comes to understanding cryptocurrency markets in general. So go check that out. It's free. It's not going to cost you anything, but I know it's going to help you guys out tremendously because it's helped me out tremendously in my process as well. Links are going to be in the description. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. And with all that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. As always, peace out.